Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Source Measure Units. In this presentation, we'll provide a short introduction to Source Measure Units, or SMUs, and explain the advantages of using an SMU over traditional power supplies and digital multimeters. In order to understand Source Measure Units, let's start with what would seem to be a simple task, measuring or characterizing a diode. As you probably already know, the characteristics of a diode are normally shown using a so-called IV curve or trace, that is a plot of current, I, versus voltage, V. Three important quantities can be determined from this graph. The most important of these is the forward or turn-on voltage, that is, the voltage at which the diode begins to conduct in the forward direction. Non-ideal diodes also allow a small amount of current to flow or leak in the reverse direction when they are reverse biased. And, if enough reverse voltage is applied to the diode, it will begin to conduct much larger amounts of current in the reverse direction. This is commonly called the reverse breakdown voltage. So how would we generate or plot the IV curve for a diode? Since current is a function of voltage, we would need to step through a range of voltages, measuring the current for each voltage value, and then use these points to plot current versus voltage as a line. Note that both voltage and current may be positive or negative at different points on the curve. Traditionally, these types of measurements require two instruments. We need an adjustable voltage supply for biasing the diode, and we also need an ammeter, or digital multimeter, for measuring the current flowing through the diode. Let's take a look at how this would be configured. Our power supply is used to bias the diode, and our ammeter, or digital multimeter, is placed in series in order to measure the current. There are, however, several drawbacks to the traditional test setup using a separate power supply and digital multimeter. First, we have to synchronize the source and meter. In our diode example, we would need to set the power supply to different voltages and measure slash record the current at each voltage value. Doing this manually is prone to human error and can be very time consuming. We could also automate this task, but this can be quite complicated and requires a non-trivial amount of test and debug time. Automation would also typically require yet another box, in this case a PC, in addition to our separate instruments, further reducing the available bench space. And finally, it should be fairly clear that all of this comes at a higher cost, both in terms of the instruments and accessories themselves, as well as the time and effort needed to synchronize and or debug the test setup. A more efficient approach is using an instrument called a Source Measure Unit, or SMU. As the name implies, a source measure unit combines four functions into one instrument, namely a voltage source, a current source, a voltmeter, and an ammeter. What this means is that a source measure unit can simultaneously source or sync voltage while measuring current, so we can use a single SMU to characterize our diode. Conversely, a source measure unit can source or sync current while measuring voltage. An example of using an SMU to sync current while measuring voltage is battery testing. Batteries are often tested by discharging them at a constant current and then measuring their voltage over time, usually until a specified lower voltage limit is reached. Based on this information, we can then calculate the capacity of the battery in amp hours. Amp hours is simply the number of hours needed to reach this lower voltage threshold times the constant amps drawn over this time period. Note that in this application, our source measure unit is syncing a negative current while measuring a positive voltage. In other words, our SMU is acting as an electronic load. Quadrant diagrams are often used to show the capabilities of a power supply or SMU, in particular with regards to their ability to supply positive or negative voltages and their ability to source or sync current. Traditional power supplies that produce only positive voltage and current would be in the first quadrant, although these same supplies can usually be connected to produce a negative voltage and current. Supplies in the first and third quadrants are therefore sources of power. These types of supplies are most often used to test passive devices, such as diodes or resistors. Supplies operating in the second or fourth quadrants support voltages and currents with opposite signs. This means that these instruments consume power that is, they act as electronic loads. Electronic loads are used to test active, power-producing devices, such as generators, solar cells, power supplies, or batteries, 
as in the example on the previous slide. Many source measure units have the ability to operate in all four quadrants, acting as a source or as a load, and they can seamlessly transition between quadrants. In addition to the ability to operate in different quadrants, source measure units have a number of additional advantages. They are easier to set up and configure due to the fact that both source and measurement functionality are integrated into a single instrument. This in turn provides very precise synchronization, easier control and automation, and fewer potential sources of error. One instrument also takes up less bench space and is usually less expensive than using multiple instruments. But source measure units offer advantages that go beyond the simple integration of source and meter. Source measure units usually have shorter settling times, that is, how long it takes the source output to reach a stable state. This is important when we need to sweep a range of values and make a large number of measurements, since shorter settling times translates into a faster overall measurement. Furthermore, source measure units generally have much higher precision and a wider operating range than standalone power supplies or digital multimeters. Let's summarize what we've covered in this presentation. Testing electronic devices often requires two things, a source or sink of voltage or a current, and a means of measuring voltage or current. Traditionally, these two requirements were met using separate instruments, but more recently, these functionalities are being combined into so-called source measure units, or SMUs. Furthermore, the design of most SMUs allows them to be operated in all four quadrants, meaning they can behave either as a power source or as an electronic load. Source measure units provide numerous benefits. Since they can replace multiple instruments, they take up less bench space and reduce overall equipment cost. Easier synchronization enhances both manual and automated operation, and the shorter settling time provided by most SMUs means faster measurements. And finally, source measure units provide higher precision than standalone power supplies or multimeters. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Source Measure Units. If you'd like to learn more about source measure units and other related test and measurement applications, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.